Hey there, fellow designers. Welcome back to my channel where we explore the fascinating world of CAD modeling. In today's tutorial, we'll be designing a slider mechanism from scratch. So buckle up and let's dive right in. Slider crank mechanisms are widely used in engines, pumps, and compressors to convert rotary motion into linear motion. They consist of a crank, a connecting rod, and a slider. Today we'll be using Onshape to create our very own slider crank mechanism. I will provide a link to the file in the comment section. If you're enjoying the content and want to see more videos like this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. Your support means a lot to me and it helps me continue creating content that you love. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching and welcome to my growing community. So I'll stop the animation here and show you the mates where we'll use a lot, Revolute mate, cylindrical slider mate, of course. And we'll model in the part studio. These five parts, the rail, the slider, the crank, the connecting rod, and the pivot here. Okay, so let's start with an empty part studio with a sketch on the front plane. Press N to have a look normal to the plane. Press P to hide the planes and start with a center rectangle. Dimension that with 88 millimeters and 44. Then draw a line here, go up here, over there. Draw a mirror line here, make that construction geometry mirror over that line, those three here. Give that a 12 millimeter dimension and an equal relationship here. And just one line here, dimension that to the origin with 18 millimeters. And that's it for that sketch. Exit the sketch. Maybe go into well, isometric feel like this. And make our first extrude. Um, control E, or right here. Take that sketch and take all those three regions with 25 millimeters. Okay. Keep that sketch here visible. And extrude one more time. That bottom part with um, 288 millimeters. Let's call that part rail and give it a distinctive appearance. Maybe that. Okay. That sketch is still visible and we will extrude our slider so I go in here, extrude, take this region, make a new solid body, 
with a starting offset from entity and take this face here, turn the extrusion, extrusion direction around and give it a dimension of 44. Rename that slider and make it green. Okay. Next is a sketch on on this plane. I'll hide that sketch first. Go in here, sketch, press N, so we'll look at like this. And draw a circle over here. Um, dimension is 14. Offset that with two millimeters. And with U, I project that midpoint here. Do that one more time here for that edge. And can now, with pressing V, constrain that vertically here. And with H, horizontally. So we got a fully defined sketch here. And let's just um, draw that one more time here on the other side. Enter, well, make those equal, pressing E, that circle with that one, and that one with that one. And, well, I noticed that this is a little narrow. This is our first extrusion, so let's give that a 44 dimension and go back into that sketch, project that midpoint, make those two here vertical, and take that point and that one. So we get those um, four circles, the whole sketch fully de um, defined. Exit that, and go into the extrude command and extrude this region. I'll go into isometric view so you can see where this is going. Eight millimeters. Okay. Keep that sketch visible. Then extrude that region with uh, 12 millimeters and then just that donut circle here with uh, 4 millimeters and on the other side that same um, distance, four millimeters, adding to the body we got. Okay, I'll hide that sketch. So for the crank and the connecting rod, we will sketch on this plane here. I press N to have a normal view to that. Press U to project that edge and that one. And then draw a line going out here. I rest that here. I make an end point. Then I'll draw another line from here to that point. I'll take those two and with Q convert them to construction geometry. Give that line 
a dimension of 200 millimeters and then let's go into the slot command which you can find under offset here slot take that line and accept that diameter 20 and do that one more time with the slot with that side of the sketch everything's fully defined and for the the pivot i will draw a circle in here and with e equal i'll define the dimension so that's it for that sketch i'll exit and start extruding. So let's start with this part, the crank. Extrude. Take that region, that circle. Give it a four millimeter dimension. Accept that. Blue is nice, so I'll leave that. And we yeah, all leave it. But rename that to crank. Keep that sketch visible. And do that one more time with that side. That region and again that one. A new body going out to the other side same distance four millimeters that's it accept that and rename that connecting rod connecting connecting rod and Give that maybe some strong color, some red. And from that very same sketch, one more extrusion for the pivot. I take that inner circle, new solid body, symmetric and eight millimeters. So, call that pivot. And give that some yellow appearance. Yeah. We can hide that sketch. And so, we did all this now in the part studio. And now we will go into the assembly to apply the relevant relationship between all parts. Okay, so in the assembly environment, we will insert our part studio right here. Accept that. Let's turn that around here. Go to our rail, right click, fix that. Move those around here so we know what we have to do. And apply our first mate. And that will be the slider mate right here. I'll just take this edge here. And notice that the z-axis is collinear with that edge. And do the same thing here on that edge. Exit that, so I move that around with my left mouse button pressed. So that is what we wanted. 
And then um, let's go into the Revolute Mate. Take that inner edge of our crank and that edge of our rail. Okay. Then one more time, let's do that with a pivot here. Over there. And then that edge with that one. Okay, so all this is moving the way we want it. And one last time, that Revolute Mate between that edge and that one. Exit that command and go into Revolute 1. Animate that with a loop. And that's it for our assembly and our animation. I hope you liked that and I talk to you soon.